sold out building here at nationwide arena this stretch of 9 and 11 at home ends after this game this game so put on a show for your crowd here i would agree craig Rubey likes the brand of this team work hard big physical no nonsense just like the way he played it a shot in the goal of the centering pass and the jackets go on the board emil benstrom finally finds the back of the net well they get the start for the blue jackets and brad larson of course gets the match and benstrom and this right now danforth is out there and how about the play down low danforth goes to the net that opens up the passing lane and robinson gets it right over to benstrom he was dangerous his first shift here this, this evening. Jackets work below the net. Walking out, turning, firing. Oh, my. Russo, at the last moment, was able to keep that from crossing the line on the short side. Blues have it. Talked about Perron being on a bit of a hot streak. He also leads them in power play goals. He moves right in there and scores his eighth power play goal. Wow. Wow is right. And, and he's a guy that underrated skill, Jeff, and he just flashed it right there as he attacked the blue line. You can see them cup on the ice. Looks like a quiet entry, but he's got the speed in the middle, and then he does the rest. Right-handed shot, pulls it back. Look at this little play as he whips it quickly from forehand to backhand and almost in one motion forehand backhand and then sticks it as elvis merzlikens tries to react you can see he was still in the motion of coming across scandela gets it ahead the two on one centering pass save elvis blues get it right back bertuzzo reached for it so he likes taking him on that left side unfortunately there he just could not snap that back like he did on the first one york strength line it Line a nice move, centering pass, scores, what a pass, and what a goal. Patrick Line feeding Nyquist with a beauty. He just gets on his edges here. Bjorkstrand kicks it out. He's assessing the situation. Pulls it in on two different blues. And then Gus Nyquist, the Nissan move of the game with authority. And good job by Gus. It's not always easy. As it looks right there on your forehand, you got to be strong, you got to time it right, and that's not a light pass by Patrick Line, who uses that full wingspan. Jack Roslovic on to Gus Nyquist. Nyquist sprints into the zone, it's a three on two. On to Line, what a goal! This time they reverse Nyquist with a pretty feed. And Line with his second point. And the quick shot, it's 3-1. Sneaks up on Gus Nyquist. Here they are in the defensive zone. Great breakout. Nyquist there, he takes a peek. Gets it in a no-look pass over to Patrick Laine. And Laine goes over the glove. Perfect pass. You see how he uses his body? It looked like he was going to go to the left. And Cairo, the speedster, tries to catch up. Patrick Laine has got sticks all around him. It doesn't matter. He tickles that right off the crossbar. Extends his stick out, so that's a little extra room he's got away. In the last 23 games, Patrick lining the Jackets lead. Perico denied. Elvis out of the net, and it's thrown right through the blue paint. And now, on the right wing, coming quickly, there's a shot. Scramble there, trying to throw it back in front, but failing to do so. Got plenty of time to add to that. Left wing. Ooh. Big hit there. Jackets control deep in the zone. Peek in front. He tried to send it home. Taking the puck from Wallman. Centering pass across the line. Blues. Heal it on the wing. Oh, Elvis just moving laterally to make the stop there. Lutchenko camped in front. Falk, who's moved up again. Save rebound. Lutchenko sends it home, and it's 3-2 his first National Hockey League goal his 11th game in the National Hockey League and he is physical and here he gets his first goal in the National Hockey League and he's right in front provides that screen and that gives Elvis a tough time he can't find the rebound Elvis goes back they're gonna look at this they're wondering if that contact caused Elvis 
to head back on his backside, but you can see Korbachenko is outside of the blue paint, and it seems to be incidental contact outside of that blue paint. He drops it there. Nyquist tries to walk to the net. Shin all over him from point blank range. Huso able to get a glove on it. Jake Bean was behind the defense. Bemstrom cross ice for Corrali. Good hand eye coordination to knock it down. Jackets move up. Bemstrom in front. Bemstrom with the backhand. And there, Huso able to make a stop from point blank range. Now Corrali, he'll score! Corrali continuing with his 11th goal of this season, adding to his career high. Bounces it through the air. He can't put that one in, but he stays with it. And Robinson's been the playmaker here this evening. He set up a play earlier, and here he is again. He gets his pass from Bjorks from Bemstrom as he turns. It's tape to tape. Sean Crowley appears from nowhere. And Tory Crew can't find from the corner. Puck is set high. Crew with a quick feed, top of the circle, right side. Now Perron, he scores his second power play goal of the night. Off the post and in. It's a one-goal game again. And this crowd still not happy at that penalty call on the Blues. They're so dangerous on the power play. After going up 4-2, it costs them. And the width of the ice, they're going to use it twice. And Perron here adjusts. I don't know how he got that shot off, but short side shelf. That's a world-class shot. Corpusal is in good position. There's a little bit of traffic. You got to give up daylight. And he does a little too much there on that short side. Crowd looking for a penalty to be called as Voracek went down. And the Blues player lost his stick, and they're all over the official. Voracek dancing on the left wing, right across the goal mouth. Voracek again. He's flying around the ice. Fires and scores! It may have been deflected by Corrali. Nonetheless, the Jackets are back. Two. Whatsoever. And it's because of the work of Jake Borchek. Good job through the neutral zone. As they get down there, he just takes over. He's in the middle of this entire sequence. And here gets the puck in the middle of the ice. Huso can't see a thing. Scandella is all tied up with Sean Corrali. That goes through Corrali. Maybe it hit him. But Huso's still wondering where that puck was. As he's dealing with traffic. In the high slot, wants it, gets it, fires a shot. And Huso got just enough of it to send it out of play. Perron steps out. Away from Sillinger. Krug with a quick dish. Less than 90 seconds left. Weaving his way through is Kairou on the right wing. Backhanding a pass, right back here to Perron. Perron with a shot and scores. What a shot. Completes the hat trick, and it's a one goal game with a minute 20. His seventh career hat trick. He lets it fly. You can see he creeps in, creeps in, creeps in. Looks like he's looking to the middle of the ice, and then he slips one past Corpusalo again on the short side. Very deceiving, very quick release right down that lane. You can see the bodies are all stacked up, but they're on the inside, and Corpusalo sees this the whole way as it skirts. Off the post and just outside the blocker. By the Blues. Final seconds. Off Nyquist. Jackets get it. The length of the ice. Bjorkstrand into the empty net as the horn goes to end the game. No goal. But the Jackets prevail. 5-4 the final.